you never pay attention to me. I figured out a way to make you listen. By using a microphone. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only one they had is connected to this karaoke machine. <laughs> Got a song loaded up. Whew, I love karaoke. Let me try. Upgraded your molecular theory assignments. What a disappointment. You're all getting F. I don't like this song. Let's do Don't Go Breaking My Heart. You do the girl part. I don't like his singing either. But you don't have to hiss. Actually, I find his singing delightful. That hiss was just the sound of my panini maker. No eating in class unless you brought enough for everyone. I really mean it. Do 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 do. I did. <laughs> None for me. I don't want to get any crumbs on the sheets. Sherbe, why do you have a bed in my classroom? Shubi do be do. <laughs> This, my friend, is not a bed. This is a lifestyle. My grandma would love one of those. I'd take a picture of it, but I'm charging my camera right now. And my phone, tablet, computer, video camera, and my spy pen. I mean, my totally normal pen. OK, time for today's lesson on energy consumption, which I think you'll find exciting thanks to this smoke machine and disco lights. Oh, great. Mr. Young caused a blackout. Me? I'm not the one using adjustable beds and panini makers and totally normal pens. No one is, thanks to you. How am I supposed to eat a cold roast beef sandwich? It tastes... Pretty good, actually. Maybe we don't need electricity. Speak for yourself. I just hope the power comes back on before Slap mistakes me for a panini. You do look like a panini. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Ha! It was Tater's fault. He obviously didn't pay the electric bill, so they sent this bill collector to rough him up. What? No. I was just playing cops and robbers with my friend. Bill. Collector. <laughs> my turn to be the robber. Give me all your money. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Tater. Just pay the man. I paid the bill. The power's out because you kids have become much too dependent on technology. So I've decided today it will be Finnegan High Old Timey Times Day. <laughs> but today's already maggot in your meatloaf day. <laughs> we'll all learn to live without modern conveniences like electricity and running water. Another bill I did not forget to pay. <laughs> I'll hang on to your calculators and walkie-talkies until the end of the day. This is ridiculous. Why don't you just admit you forgot to pay the bill? Why don't you just admit you're not tough enough to survive, old-timey... What did I call it? He has a point. Back in the olden days, you had to be strong to survive. Brainy weaklings like you just died in the forest. <laughs> hmm. Adam is weak, and we'll be definitely eaten by wolves. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Oh, really? Well, we'll see you as the strength to survive. We'll not only give up electricity and running water, we'll transform this place and live like they did 200 years ago. Cool. I'll finally get to see a dinosaur. <laughs> These costumes we got from the drama department are perfect. Good thing last term's production was Frontier Loggers, the musical. <laughs> I was spectacular as the lead. 
I was once a mighty tree. Friend to man and dog. Then I woke one autumn morn, a simple woodland log. I found your performance a little wooden. You're not dressed up, Mr. Tater. The 19th century too much for you. Actually, the sweater vest was invented in the late 17th century and was quite popular until the mid 19th century when the seventh Earl of Cardigan had to get all fancy with buttons. We need to do is start a fire. I'll chop some firewood. <laughs> it's dark in this schoolhouse. I usually don't go in for modern gadgets, but I guess it's good I have this. <laughs> Why is everyone dressed like that? That's right, it's 1812. <laughs> and we're at war! <laughs> well, phew, got the axe out of the package. <laughs> Don't worry about splitting the firewood. Sure, girls back then would have wanted a strong, powerful, muscular man, but that's just not you. If you want, I can hold the log for you. Oops. Sorry. That just keeps happening. Oh, he was next. Who needs firewood? If you're cold, we could always keep each other warm using body heat. Great idea. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to be the back spoon? There's nothing like a wood-burning fire. I'd have to agree. <laughs> Although, it is warm. Clothes from the 1800s? That is so 2002. We're at war! Why aren't you in uniform, young man? I'm a girl. Right. A girl in pants? Some boys will do anything to get out of serving. There is no war, Mrs. Byrne. Oh, yeah? Then why do I have this? You're crazy. Get into uniform, recruit. I'm not putting that on. If you're trying to go AWOL, you'll get the business end of my musket, which is way less fun than the party end. <laughs> Now let's talk about your hair. Ooh! I thought being in your delusional army was gonna be boring. <laughs> the key to my hair is the lemon sage thickening spray. <laughs> no! Don't worry, I'm not done. <laughs> what hairstyle do you want? The Bedford crop, the Lovelock, the Brutus? The Brutus? The Brutus it is. The new war was so tragic. <laughs> All right, now we need a source of water. Oh, now we need water. Not 20 minutes ago when I was screaming, help, help, get some water! <laughs> you know, beneath us, there's an aquifer, a wet underground layer of water-bearing permeable rock that could be a source of well water. <laughs> Trees these days are so rude. Didn't even bother to say timber! Stand back. You're about to see a man dig a well. Wow, that's amazing. Good work, Slab. I could have dug a well too. These instructions weren't so confusing. How to use a shovel. Hey, it's not as easy as it looks. This thing does have two ends. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the lecture, Adam. I slept like a... What's that thing? It's round. It just lies there. A log? 
a baby. Dogs don't sleep. All right, time for basic training. We're gonna whip you into shape. I'm already in shape. <laughs> what kind of a formation is that, fella? March! I don't know, but I've been told Niagara gals are mighty cold. Join me, boy! I don't know, but I've been told Mrs. Byrne is really unfit to teach. <laughs> Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Why is the sound off? I can't hear a thing. We have to find some food. People are getting desperate. Ooh, ends on a log. As any 19th century botanist would know, many of these plants are perfectly edible. Made in China. I love Chinese food. Slap, you feel like Chinese food? Nah. I'm good. OK, apparently the garden is not edible. But it looks like some non-plastic berries are growing on that vine. Great. Maybe Slab can climb up and get us some. I got it. Almost there. <laughs> Give me your lunch, nerd building. Wow, Slab is such a provider. I provide information that allows Slab to provide. Anyway, that was more of a gathering thing. I'm Focus on hunting. Ow, 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 ow. Stupid woodpecker, you're too late. Slab already ate all the ants. Derby, stay still. <laughs> Darn it, go away. Too bad, now you stay still. Okay, your turn. Birds are too smart. You have to go after something big and stupid. Uh-oh. <laughs> wish I had a place to hide. Oh, a wishing well. I wish I had a place to hide. Go, Penny! Oops, that was a nickel. Was a penny. Is my face red? Seriously, is it? Because I banged it up pretty bad. Mr. Tater, are you okay? I think so. Has the community rallied around me? Is the news here? I can't hear the chopper. Sorry, they're all across town covering this duck. He's doing the Macarena. Well, then get me out of here so I can go home and watch that duck on the news. We called for help, but you took all our phones, and there's no power in the school. That's not entirely true. What do you mean? I mean that it's partly true, but not completely true. Thank you for explaining it. Wait, are you saying that there is power in the school? Well, we have a backup generator, but that's only strong enough to power the barest of essentials. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you accused me of not being able to live without modern comforts. Really? Because that sounds just like me. Well, Mr. Tater, it looks like your selfishness is biting you in the butt. My selfishness? Oh, thank goodness, I thought that was a well spider. Here, I'll throw you the key to my office so you can use a phone to call for help. Did you catch the key? The woodpecker got it. Oh, this is terrible. 
Woodpeckers don't know how to use keys. That's why they always knock. Great. Now we can't get to the phones. Well, we have to do something. Or do we? I say we leave him down there and tell everyone he went on a vacation to the Bermuda Triangle, where he fell down a well. We have to help him. Huh? I need Teeter. You can't have a good guy without a bad guy. I'm the good guy. Uh. Teeter's the darkness to my light, the yin to my yang, the chocolate chip to my... Whatever else is in chocolate chip cookies other than chocolate chips. Okay, I think we may be able to pull Tater up by rope if Slob and Adam work together. Great! Slob, you pull on the rope. Adam, you make Slob some tea. Thank you, Slab. He's the yang to my yin. <laughs> when did you get so heavy? Where's my napkin maker? <laughs> when did you get so weak? Are you even pulling? Slab, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, Tater broke my fall. Man, is his face red. You know what? If Slab wasn't strong enough to pull me up, what made you think he Let's see how you stand up to interrogation. What if you were captured by the enemy? I already was. What's your name, mister? Ivy. Good. Always give them a fake name. Who's your commanding officer? At the moment, an old crotchety senile history teacher. Sounds like a worthy opponent. Then I want answers. What's your mission? Why are you here? Who are you? Who am I? Where are we? Where did I leave my purse? Great. What are we going to do now? We're stuck in this well and there's no one left to save us. I can save you. No one. Seriously, I'm right outside the well. I could... Maybe that cute dog who saves people from wells will rescue us. We could try clawing our way out. I mean, it's next to impossible, but what choice do we have? If only I had hair. How would that help us out of the well? It wouldn't. I know. We can make a ladder. Out of what? I can save you using science. We're living like it's 1812. There was no science back then. That's where you're wrong. Where you're right, I have no idea. <laughs> the pulley allows us to easily lift heavy loads. Each pulley disperses an object's weight, effectively cutting it in half. Cutting it in half? That's what I was going to do to Derby. <laughs> A person of average strength would be able to pull us out of here using five pulleys. Right, five pulleys. <laughs> anyway, with these pulleys, I've reduced your total combined weight of 627 pounds to three ounces. <laughs> Which, when you think about it, is still pretty heavy. <laughs> Just needs some sort of counterweight. Oh! Wow, Adam, I'm sorry I doubted you. You see, Echo? Intellect is what matters. Physical strength is all but useless. <laughs> anyway, Slab, pull me up. You don't need my useless physical strength. Use your intellect. Okay. I found this shiny nickel in the well. 
That's mine! How was that? Pretty good. Who's up for a grilled panini in Tater's office? The woodpecker is the key. I've got a spare. <laughs> I could go for a panini. Hello? Come on, guys, this isn't funny. Oh, look, I found some science down here. No, nothing. <laughs> Congratulations, recruit! You've graduated basic training and are ready for battle. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Look out! There's an enemy soldier in that foxhole! Get him! What? No, I... Charge, soldier, charge! Ah! <laughs> Ow! Ivy, what are you doing? It's me, your principal. I know. Ah! Congratulations, recruit!